Captain's Log, 162409. We've arrived on the HIFAR system. Admiral Tanay has ordered us to investigate a mine run by Ferengis looking to turn a profit. Our cover was to negotiate a deal in favor of the Federation. In reality, we're poking around to find out why the Riemann Resistance is targeting the mines. We ran into a Frangi businessman named Madran. He's running a magnesite mine on the third moon, and he made quite the bluster about how he runs the most effective and profitable mine whose efficiency would be offered to the buyer as a net savings. I made an argument that I needed to see more of the operation before making any financial offers. All a cover. In the course of our investigation, we found a group of Romulans deep in the mines who were not all that interested in having visitors. Turns out, the Tel Shiar had set up a base of operations deep within the mines, hidden by the magnesite. We even managed to find Colonel Hakim arguing with the Commander Janik, who, after a bit of a scuffle, offered to tell us what we wanted to ask. It turns out the base was a listening post, set to record and spawn in the local sectors. We managed to download some of the base's logs, but Colonel Akeem also managed to set the base's self-destruct. We barely managed to escape. What we found out, though, from the logs is that the Tal Shiar are planning to attack a secret Riemann base. We've got to get this intel to high command at once. Come on, transport. It'll be that guy. <laughs> it's like I'm trying. I'm, I'm the least maneuverable. Uh, I love that there's a, uh, a stargazer back there. Sovereign, consti uh, constitution, what, like movie refit, maybe? That's fantastic. That is fantastic. All right, here's what we're going to do. I will do a countdown, uh, and I want you all to go to warp. And when I count it down, I want you to go to warp. So make sure everybody's got it going. If When I see everybody's moving again. the fleet all right go to warp in three two one engage there's a stream delay did you take the parking brake off Got a mission for us? We know from the information you recovered from the Bahar system that the Tal Shiar are planning to attack a Riemann settlement in the Dara system. We have an opportunity to reach the settlement first. This may be a completely internal matter, and if so, the Prime Directive will come into play. We will not be able to interfere, but if there is an outside influence directing these matters, we must know what it is. Our encounters with the Undine and the Changelings have proven that there are entities attempting to move the powers of the Quadrant like pieces in a cal -Toe game. It is essential to protecting the Federation to see these attempts for what they are and counter them. I want you to go to the Dara system and learn more about the Riemann Uprising. The Riemanns will have hidden their base, so you may have to use subterfuge to find it. One more thing. Hmm. I realize this is a dangerous situation and that you may be drawn into conflict, but do not antagonize the Remans or the Romulans if you can avoid doing so. You make we it sound like I have a at war with the Klingon Empire. History. I would prefer to avoid another extended conflict. Indeed. We'll do, Admiral. I have new missions. All right. You. Let's set a course. Four the Dara 4 system. Now that I've had a chance to meet up with the rest of the... We are done with our vacation at Ryza. That's where we're leaving now. And heading out. Had a great opportunity while at Ryza to meet up with a lot of the Armco personnel. The other captains that were there. It's neat seeing all their vessels and starships. Some weird ones. I have some questions about where some of those Romulan birds came from. And that one D7 that was hanging around in the back. I thought it was weird that Starfleet signed me, you know, a constitution class, but I guess it gets weirder. Talk about using every ship they've got access to. <laughs> and we're off. 
So the next big level up, when I make captain, I'm gonna have the choice of three pretty crazy ships, right? Three iconic vessels. The Intrepid, best known USS Voyager. The Galaxy Class, best known would be the, uh, the Enterprise D, since the Yamato didn't last very long. The D, and Cisco's Defiant, the Defiant Class. Hmm. I don't know. I, I don't, like, I, I, I don't know. I don't know which one I want a captain. Commander, the Raymonds are jamming our sensors and there's no way to determine where their base is located without assistance. We need a guide. Come on in, Roberts, if you want. Glad to have the backup, Centurion. Since there's picking up communication satellites nearby, we should be able to modify it to emit a signal that the Remans will think is from one of their ships. When the Remans send someone to investigate the signal, we can get a sensor lock on their ship and follow them back to their base. Modify the communications array. Oh, we are the sneakiest. All right, hang on. Let me check this extra map. Follow us in. We've got to go modify a communications array. The micro nebula is limiting our sensor function. We can use it to hide from the Riemann ship when we send the fake distress signal. Excellent. I'm gonna lose track of the Centurion in a second. So we gotta dip back into that nebula as soon as I make these modifications. Sovereign's not a bad looking ship. Modification is complete, Commander. When we trigger the transmission, the Riemann should think it's from one of their vessels. It's losing power and needs assistance. There's a micro nebula aft of our location that should be efficient to conceal the extra parts. Setting a course now. Yeah, that's the post Borg shipbuilding techniques right there. Everything's a bit more compact, everything's a bit more well armed, less about uh, exploration. All right, let's hang out in here. I'm sending the signal now. The signal works, Captain. The Riemann scout ship is in range. It's moving to scan the area. Sensor lock confirmed. We'll be able to track them if they go to warp. Detecting a large energy buildup, sir. A Romulan battleship decloaking. Captain, they're firing on the Riemann ship. The scout ship's weapons and engines are damaged. They're cloaking, attempting to reestablish sensor lock. Oh, man. Romulan Civil War is in full effect. Captain of the Riemann ship has cloaked, but its engines are damaged and sensors are detecting a tachyon leak. It can't stay hidden, hidden for long. If we distract the Romulans, then the Riemans will have a chance to decloak and go to warp. Otherwise, I don't think we can last long against the Romulans. If the Riemann vessel is destroyed, we lose our best chance at finding their base. Looks like we gotta be a distraction. Let's go distract a battle cruiser. Remember, distract, Centurion. I don't wanna see you get any kills, Captain Roberts. Incoming hail from the Romulan vessel. They know we're here. Ah, you're a good distance out of your Federation's territory, aren't you? Offer no aid or assistance to these Riemann rebels and leave this system immediately. If you do so, I can overlook your intrusion into an internal affair. Otherwise, I would be forced to see your presence here as an invasion of Romulan territory. That would be unfortunate for you. I hope that ship's getting away right now. Let's see if he attacks. You know, we weren't supposed to egg them on. I don't feel like we really have much of a choice, though. <laughs> Like, the Admiral specifically said, don't start a war. Oh. Looks like we're gonna have to deal with it. Oh, no. 
There's two warbirds. Let's see if they fire first. I think we have to fire. I think they're going to force us to basically get really close to starting a war. Well, we're under fire. Engage. Cutting underneath you. Torpedoes away. Too? He died too. Let's see how because his sovereign died almost instantly. Alright, engaging. He's losing his side shields pretty substantially at the moment. He's an overloaded beam. His rear shields are down, giving him the torps. Wow, my shields are just gone. No way. I'm engaging my evasive maneuvers and reinforcing everything to the rear. I'm going to try to get out of there. Like, we can kill it, but... He's got him. He's got him. He's got him. All right. Coming back in. Putting in everything to the front. Ramming speed! What's this one doing? Fire on my mark. All right, launching boarding pods. Board shields are starting to fail. I can't turn because of the tractor beams. Attempting repairs of it 9% and... I'm at 9% evasive maneuvers! Oh, that was power to weapons. Crap, that wasn't repairs. I gotta get used to these new abilities. <sighs> Damn, alright. Putting everything to the front. I really need those emergency emergency shields at the moment. And I'm really missing those repair abilities. Alright, hitting with everything I've got. Oh. Come on, man. We gotta kill him. There we go. Overloaded in it. Phasers did the trick. Oh, can you beam over repair teams if you've got any? Start rerouting all emergency power to the shields. Lock down those hole breaches. It's fun though. It's definitely fun. That's the first time I've been like, ah, I made some maneuvers, and I need to learn how to use my um when to use my brace for impact. Alright, Commander, the Riemann Scout ship is decloaked. They'll try to shake us. We need to stay close until we can get a better look at the warp signature. Yeah. Keep up with that ship. Let's go. He's trying to run. You and your sovereign class. Centurion being faster than us. Oh, shit. I gotta start evening out power distribution. Centurion's lost its port shield. You got a plasma torpedo heading right for you. Oh god, hit it! No! Oh. No. Why did it die evasive? I'm trying to give you a hand. I'm trying to give you a hand. You've got a plasma torpedo coming right for you. Oh, his hull is gone! Why is this so hard? Like somebody just cranked the difficulty. <sighs> oh, we're gonna die. All right, sitting over the task force of shuttles. Oh! Switching over to shields while I wait for Federation reinforcements. A 
if we could uh py i would say come on in but i can't bring people in mid game that's because that's just not how the game works oh man maybe i can break line of sight oh no i have to turn because i'm losing I'm doing nothing with my shield my power is redistributed this way all right evasive maneuvers into the asteroid field i'm gonna look for cover Oh, the Centurion's re-arrived. He's come back from repairs. I'm coming back in. With, with balanced stats. Oh, shit. Okay, nobody saw that. How's he doing? I'm gonna hit him with everything I've got. Works away. High yields. I can't turn. Reboot power and send over a boarding team via shuttle. I'm trying to go to port and it's just not turning because of the tractor beams. All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. How's your health? Oh, he just sent an engineering team over. I'm going to beam one to him. Ah, uh, die, you fool. Overloaded phaser beams. Everything into the front shields. Tachyon beam. High yields are ready as soon as the shields come down. Come on, shields fall. Oh no! Oh no! And a tractor beam! It's not going for me, it's going for the Centurion! Check my clothing, Edric. It has something to do with bringing in another person into the game. Because we were fighting ships this scale, no problem. Literally the last mission. Oh, here we go. Found you. The Riemann ship has executed a short warp jump, and I have a lock on its coordinates, sir. All right, we're going to follow him. Let's go. You didn't level match. How do you level match if the game doesn't do it automatically? I'm not picking up any ships here, Commander, but I would be surprised if there are... There are one or more cloaked in the area. The Raymond cloaking ships can appear as concentrations of tachyon particles. I will continue to scan the area. There is something interesting on the planet's surface, however. Sensors are detecting a large underground installation. It could very well be a base that the Riemann Resistance is using. The entire area is protected by a magnetic field and magnetic shield, though, so we can't transport inside. There's a series of caverns connected to the installation. We could send a team there and try to find a way to disable or circumvent the magnetic shielding. So we can beam down to that location and try to bring the shield down. Okay. He has to do it. Okay, Roberts, try to sh try to level match. What, this button right here? Team member is not matching your level. Oh, yeah, click that. Right there, Chet. Right above the, the icon on the group thing. There you go. And now you're level zero to me. Now, here's the real question. Did the, did the mission just update? Or are we still in Uber mode? So... So what you're telling me, I was just fighting a level 23 Dededrix with my extra parts? That's ridiculous. 